Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. For all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to come on and talk about the whole Omari Hardwick situation. So if you guys don't know, Omari plays Ghost in Power. And so about four weeks ago, he got into it on social media because a fan took to social media. She says that she went up to Omari while he was out and she asked for a picture. And basically he told her no. She claimed that Omari was rude. So then um, Omari took to his Instagram. He decided to address it because people started confronting him. Like you were rude to this woman. Why didn't you take a picture? Who do you think you are? You're getting big headed. So he went to address it and was basically stating that this woman was disrespectful. You know, he was with his family. She wouldn't listen. And so then the woman ends up coming on the post and they end up going back and forth. It's like this huge back and forth. I'm not reading that shit, okay? But anyways, they go back and forth and then eventually Omari's like, you know what? You're a confused soul. God bless you. I'm done, okay? So this was four weeks ago. Tell me why today he was on the breakfast club, a messy ass breakfast club decided to bring this shit back. And on top of that, they decided to play the audio of the woman going in on Omari. And when I tell you Omari, honey, he went from Omari to ghost in 2.3 seconds, okay? He was like, you know what? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. Nigga, what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz you disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz you disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. <laughs> y'all know I love that damn meme. Anyways, y'all go ahead and listen to this Breakfast Club interview, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. And I no, told him I was a fan of that. Could I get a photo with him? And he was like, no, 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 no photos because I'm with my family. So I said, now I see that you are really the complete and I just turned around and I just walked off. She sat there and looked at me and went, really? And I said, really? I'm with my family. God bless you. She said, really? Like three, really? I'm like, yeah. Sometimes people, people say People don't no. understand that because, you know, you're with your family. So you're like, I work yeah. so much. This is my this is quality my time. time. She wasn't off for walking up, whether 100 miles or 500 miles. Or you don't think we're humble by that? Just acknowledge our family. Right. Hi, everybody. Yeah, sorry to bother sorry you. To bother nigga, you. I just, yeah. nigga my, this woman to my right has saved my life. Right. Think about it. You don't really know the story. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I was broke as fuck. You think about it. She saved my fucking life. Chill the fuck out. Just relax. And then acknowledge her enough. It can be half of a look. Hi. That's all we need. Hi. Cool. You acknowledge that she's a breathing entity. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers is crazy. Honey. When I tell you Omari lost his damn religion, he forgot that he was on the breakfast club. He was dropping all types of N-words and nigga this and nigga that. I'm like, he went straight into the character of Ghost. He was not here for the fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely understand where he's coming from. You know, it's one thing to be a fan of somebody, but you need to respect their family. You need to respect that, you know, these people are putting hours on set per day, you know what I'm saying, to, to bring you guys these characters, to act it out, and they're spending days, weeks, sometimes months away from their family because they're having to work 24-7. So it's like, you know, those times that they get a day off, and that power is not filming and he wants to spend time with his wife and his child, you need to allow people to do that. At the end of the day, these celebrities don't owe you anything. They don't owe you a picture. They don't owe you an autograph. If you ask and they say no, just let it be that because they're human beings as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no damn celebrity, but I know how that is when I go out and people recognize me and they want to take pictures. And it's like, yo, I'm school shopping with my kids. You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to run to the mall and go grab something. You know, and it's like, I don't mind. I'll take a picture because it doesn't have happen to me like you know every time I go out so it's not a big deal but I could not imagine you know what I'm saying being ghost and everywhere he goes people recognize him they want a picture and one thing I've learned is that a lot of people it's not even that they necessarily even like the celebrity and I'm not saying that this woman is not a fan of ghost or was not a fan of ghost but a lot of folks will just want a picture with you or with the celebrity just to say I took a picture with them they may not have ever seen a movie that they've done. They may not support their music. They probably bootleg all they shit, okay? But then when they see them, it's all teeth and love. So you got a lot of folks who just want pictures. Why? Because they just want to show it off on Instagram. They just want to post it on social media and say, look who I met. Look who I kicked it with. And that can get very annoying for people. So I definitely understand where he's coming from. And like he said, you know, you're talking to me. You're not even acknowledging I'm here with my wife. 
You're acting like my wife is literally a ghost. We all know she's white, okay? But she's not a ghost, okay? You can see her. And the fact that you're ignoring her, you're ignoring my son, and you're just focused on me, it's sad. And you have people where the wife will be right there, and females will stand right in front of the wife like, you know, hey, how you doing? And it's like, dude, excuse me, that's his wife. Like, people are just so extra. I've seen so many things, especially out in L.A., you know, where people can just be so starstruck, especially if they're not from L.A., you know, like newcomers. And, you know, they'll do things where you might be at a restaurant in Studio City and you happen to see a celebrity and you'll have people, you know, they're in the middle of eating dinner with their family who walk right up. Can I get an autograph? Can I get a picture? And it's just like, I couldn't even imagine having to deal with that 24 seven. So you know what? I'm not mad at him for taking up for himself or taking up for his family. I'm glad that he checked that fan and he told that fan, you know what? No, I'm not taking a picture. It's okay to tell people no. More people need to use the word no, okay? I'm glad that he told her no. She was pressed and bothered, but that's her issue, not his. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey, concerning Omari and him going off on The Breakfast Club this morning. He, Like I said, he went from damn Omari to ghost in 2.3 damn seconds, okay? He was not here for the fuck shit. He's like, you know what? I, I got time, and I ain't got to type nothing. I'm about to let you know how the hell I damn feel on The Damn Breakfast Club. So he basically drug that chick by her edges, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.